Well, here we are in the VW Nut Garage uh, with my two red cars still. First of all, thank you to Musty One and the power of Musty One. Thank all of you new people, all of my new subscribers for coming along and the comments and the input. I love it all. I, I absolutely am beside myself uh, for all of the nice things you said. I... I appreciate every bit of it uh, so we'll start right off with uh, Daisy's identity crisis uh, a couple of you guys in the comments got it absolutely right um, she is a 64 the reason I thought it was a 66 was the deck lid um, of course I am a VW nut but I uh, I don't know everything uh, I thank all of you guys for your education uh, I do have to say that for Whatever reason, Musty One kept saying it was a 64, uh, probably because he knew it was a 64. Um, the gentleman I bought it from was pretty sure it was a 66 on a 64 pan. It is registered by the identification number on the pan, so it is registered as a 64. Thank goodness it really is a 64. That makes it extra awesome for me. Um... Uh, this bug is going to be, it's going to be something that I'm learning how to do a lot of things on. So I, I don't think it's going to disappoint the guys who like the stock bug like this. I also don't think it's going to disappoint the guys who like the ratty bug. Um, I think it's going to be a mix of both. I'm not going to give too much away, but... I promise you, stay tuned. We're going to learn together. Um, so, enough of the thanks and explanations and and everything. Uh, today we're going to, I definitely need to get some different tires put on this thing, especially in the rear. So, we're going to get the rear jacked up. We're going to get the tires out of there. I got some tires that I want to try out on there. I'm not sure if they're going to work, but, well, we'll learn together. I still got to clean up the headlights and replace the headlights and clean up the connections. We're going to do that today. Um, and we'll see what happens. So, again, thanks. And uh, join me, please. Well, you can hear my loud, really super huge compressor over there working. Uh, that's because both of these tires right here need some air. That's... Ruby's spare, and that's Daisy's spare. Um, I'm going to put them on the back of this thing when I get those off, just so it still moves around. I still need it to move around. Take it easy.
careful not to hit Ruby. I, you guys are probably, probably not in the shot, but... Also, Patina's here, not really awake, but she's here guarding the toolbox. So, here's the problem with the wheels and tires that were on there. I hope it's coming out in the video, but they are just weather cracked. And uh, they probably both look the same. I'm surprised that they still hold air, but they do. But, we'll get those fixed. I think that one may even be a snow tire. They may both be snow tires. Either way, they're junk now. Well, we got the driver's side headlight out, and it looks like at some point somebody put a new plug on there. Uh, we'll probably take those off and heat shrink and solder all that together just so it's better. Um, I think the plug is probably okay, except for that it was once painted the color of uh, the car. Um, so, to take the head, that headlight out, it's just this screw right here, and that pulls the whole housing out with the headlight in it, which I now have over here on the bench. Uh, and to get the headlight out, it's just these one-handed, it's just these uh, little spring clips right here. There's, I don't even know how many. There's one. Oh, if I ever get to where I just have only have one hand, I'm in trouble. Alright, let me get you guys set on the stand. This is going to take both hands. Alright, so you guys are in the shot now. Just watch your eyes. Should have had safety glasses on. Now i got to find it. Got it! There's two of them. Three of them. Four of them. Five of them. And the bulb comes right out. And we'll be able to clean up the inside. Comes out with this ring. Um, and uh, we'll go out to the uh, VW Nut Garage. Uh, to the storage facility, which is right. If you look right past my friend Amzie's plate. Right out there. We've put Krusty in that garage for, in that shed for a winter. We also had Ruby in that shed for the winter. And uh, now it is full of parts. So that's where we'll head. So in the uh, Volkswagen parts section out there, I found a stash. We have a stash of some Sylvania halogens. Let me take that phone call and we'll get right back to you. Sorry for the commercial break. Uh, what I was saying is that I have, a, I have a set of these Sylvania halogens that are going to work great in there for right now. Uh, I tested that one that's in there right now and it works. So we'll go ahead and try not to drop the other one and make sure that it works. And we'll put the matching pair in there. Clean up the lenses and the glass. Oh, geez. Fix that connection. Try not to catch yourself on fire. High or low beam check. And check. All systems go. We'll change out the lights, get them cleaned up. I'll bring you guys back if I have any problems. Okay, so headlights are all cleaned up, working high and low beam like they should. I'll show you guys. Oh, that's pretty awesome. 
brake lights, tail lights. So that's one or the other. And then and then the other. Okay. But I thought in my stash that I had a windshield and of course I do. And here's the windshield right here. However, that windshield will not fit that particular car. It'll fit this car, but it won't fit this car. So I am going to go on a search today to get a new windshield and windshield seal. Um, because this one's just got one, one little teeny crack right in here somewhere. And we'll cold start. Uh, she's parked right outside. Uh, I was putting together the video that you are watching right now and realized I didn't close it. So that's the end of this one, but a little bonus footage from the next day. Uh, thanks again for coming by the BW Nut Garage, and we'll see you on the next one.